In this video we're going to set up the Futaba 12Z transmitter to work with the MicroBeast version 3 and a 6203 SB receiver. Any serial bus receiver would work the same way. The first thing you want to do is create a new model helicopter with the swash at H1 or single servo. Select fast multi-mode. You want to look at your manual on page 26 and compare that to what's in your functions. Uh, you, you can see channel 3 should be set up for throttle, channel 6 for pitch, but they're backwards, so we need to change them. You can do that in the MicroBeast, but it's a lot easier to do in the radio, and the results are the same. So here we're going to go to channel 3 and assign that throttle. And we're going to go to channel 6 and assign that pitch. And now everything will match the, what the MicroBeast is expecting to see. Next thing we want to do is set all our trims to null so that in case we bump one of them, it's not going to throw the MicroBeast into a hissy fit. Next I'm going to set the channel 5 to gear instead of gyro. And the reason I do that is just to keep things simple. Most of my calls about gyros are because guys can't change the gain on the gyro because they're trying to use uh, complicated gyro functions. But if you make it gear, everything's simple. So I'm going to make it gear. If you want to use gyro, go ahead. But if you run into trouble, just do it like this, and you'll be able to change your uh, your gain easily. I assign switch SF to this. And we're just going to test it here. Channel 5. You might want to go into channel 5 and set the endpoints to 35% on both sides of the switch. That'll That'll be a good starting gain for the micro beast on the tail. Just checking to make sure all the joysticks work the right channels. Now we're going to go ahead and enable throttle hold. Of course on 12Z that's really easy to do. You just go into the condition select menu and activate throttle hold. and then go assign a switch in the throttle hold screen. Activate it, then uh, go over to the switch, and select a, select a switch, which I use SG for throttle hold. On the 12Z, that's a single posi or a double position switch. On the 8FG, it's a triple position. Kind of weird. We're just testing to make sure it works there. Yeah, I reduced this value to zero. I'm not sure I should have done that, but uh, I think it'll work just fine. I'll be testing that later. You might want to leave it at 17. I don't think it matters. But there you can see throttle holds working. You can disregard channel 9. We're not using that. And this next thing is optional. I'm just going to rename the model. But I do it real quick. I got fast fingers. Look at me go. The magic of computers. Boom. Boost. And we're done. See you next time.